Starting to hate your truck. Why? All right, new day in the shop, new project. Well, old project, we're just working on it again. This is Landon's truck. <laughs> Previously, you've seen us, well, we turned it from a two-wheel drive dually into a four-wheel drive with a flatbed. Then he decided he wanted a short bed, so we found a step side. Now it's a short bed step side, and we're just, he's putting 35s on it, so we gotta gear it. So we've got some gears here that are old, used, but good still. So they're getting recycled into land and rig. We're putting a locker in the rear of it. So today you'll see us get a bunch of that done and try to figure out a rear sensor for shifting. It's an electronic transmission and it's missing a sensor because we put a different transfer case in it. So we've got some work to do, we'll get going. There's some goo in this one. We can at least give it a first start, right? Yep. Because I know how Landon uses things. And it's just like what we would use. Beat it. While Ben's doing the rear, I'm gonna get the front end tore apart and the gears put in it so they match. He's off. Yeah. About got away from me. New development. I ordered the front gears. I didn't have any, so I ordered some for a Dana 44, just thinking that's what I put in this. And then I just looked at this diff cover and it ruined my day because that's a 10 bolt. So more work's involved now. Now I gotta swap a Dana 44 into it. That's on the trailer. It's on the rollback, there's a 44 on it. We can do it, it's just more work. So luckily, the knuckles, I can just unbolt the knuckles, pull them off, and they'll bolt right on. I just gotta take the whole front end out. My own fault. No, Al. Thick and a thin. What's the split on these? Doesn't matter, you can turn them out. Yeah, I turn them out and grind case. Oh, okay, yeah, where the bearing hits. Okay. Yep. So that bearing and stuff should be good that's on that. Came out of DAR, should be set up for that gear already. Should be able to take this one out and drop it in there. And drop it in and go? Okay, we'll do it. Should be good. Yay. We're about to have this side off and pull the axle. And probably ought to drain the oil out of it just because it's going to make a mess if I don't. So you gotta make sure you don't hit anywhere a bearing's gonna run, like right there bearing runs, right here bearing runs. Someone's beat the tar out of this thing before. Trying to get it off. All right, she's off. Looks good other than it's not. All right, now I think I'll pull the knuckles off, leave them just dangling here on the front end, or on the leaf springs. Now I'll pull the other side shock off. We'll have it out. I like to do stuff twice. I forgot to put the locker in right there. But you gotta have it all apart on this one, so just take it all back. Up. We'll leave it right there and pull shock to the other side. Look at that. All right, we're gonna take and assemble this in there. Get rid of these one tire fryers. Well, let's take all the goodies out. Throw all those back in that so we have them. I usually just take stack them together, clean them, and black tape them. Okay. So they're stuck. You're gonna want to leave that in there. Because it needs the shim. Yep. But I've been wrong before. What's wrong? You always have to tear it all back apart. That is true. That is exactly what's gonna happen. Oh, it's gotta be the shim because there's nothing to ride on here. Technically, it doesn't turn other than barely when and it's clicking. When you're idling around the corner and then you yeah. use it. Yep. So this one will never turn. Because no, he's going to be on the throttle all the time. They'll always be floored. So these are pretty cool how they work. When they go around the corners, they click it. Then grab the teeth. Find Me it. personally would have left the washers and the stuff on it, I think. Or the bolt. Keep it all together? Have it bolted together and then just set it down in there. And you can then, probably reach it. You can. You just take the needle nose and twist it off. Okay. And pull the washers That'd out. That'd be a good idea. See, look at you. That's why you get all the big bucks. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put it back together. That's about We're on the final, final little bit here. Shocks off. I should be able to, I think I'm going to pull the diff cover and just drain it. Just because I don't want a mess going everywhere. So I'm going to do that. And then I'll pull these bolts, drop it on the ground. 
we'll get the other one in here and go back together. Probably going to build the other one on the bench and then throw it in here. It's going to be easier. Not hitting my head. It's a little tender from yesterday where I hit it. Okay. Action. <laughs> so I guess after further looking into it, instructions. Instructions. They don't run these. It says to remove them or failure will occur. Well, we don't want that. So. We, gotta, we gotta stack the deck in his favor. He's had a hard go in this truck, so. <laughs> All the help yeah. you can get. You ain't a kidding. So yeah. Oh, that'll be much easier. I'll bet you you have a way easier go of it with that. Washer Ooh. centered up in there so it'll come out. Yep. You'll be good to go then. And then I'll make Hunter. Then then just <laughs> then just start the bolts. Yeah, get them start all it started, on the ring gear. Take them off. Take it off. And then you can see if it is gonna be happy. Oh yeah. It'll just be press and press and go. This thing will be out wheeling Hunter's truck in no time. Oh yeah. <laughs> this one probably will be. The competition's the old, coming. That old red piece of junk isn't out wheeling mine. It's, so the wood this truck. One, the wood truck probably will. All right, I'm gonna put the lift on it first. I have that two and a half inch lift that's going on the red one, and then we'll go All settle right. this score. All right. Where, what's the qualifications? What, you're setting the tables, where are we wheeling? Um, we'll have to wait for it to warm up. We can go do some sand, so the hot sand will uh, just destroy you. <laughs> All right. No winching. No winching. No winching. Except for when I have to winch you out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'll walk home before I do that. Hey, you heard that right there. Yeah. He's walking I'm home. I'm walking home. It ain't happening. That the oil's looking good. Yeah, it's in good shape. For what it is. Yeah, we changed it all. Oh, heck. Well, I uh, sandwich it. Yep. You got, got them lock schneided. Yep. Put a couple in there. Okay. Perfect. Now he's coming taking care of me. I can finish. Alright, now let's do that one. We'll put all this stuff back in there. 716 and tighten that up. And you stick a, a bar on it. Yeah. I think that hole is a one inch ratchet size. Would you like at that? Oh, there actually is a small one too. Let's get the other one. There it be. Hey, there's a tool for that. Just like so. Yeah. Just like that, huh? Oh. I'll have to get a hammer. Basically, we just drained this so that we wouldn't leak oil everywhere. Probably still gonna leak some, but a little less than it was it was going to. So. You can put, put the it tool on press it. And push, push it down. back down. Yeah. You just put a flat plate on the top of that and set that on the bottom. And oh, okay. And it should push it right back down on. Let's do that so it doesn't mess up. And then you up. can spin this and fill it when it gets tight. Get it your preload. Get your preload set. Here. Is it All too video. much? Is it too much? Put it in the other one. It goes slower if you need. Keep on going. Yeah, you're Hold just. Hold up right there. Hmm. Good. Do a little bit more. Okay. Release. Handled. We're headed out to the tundra, or just outside. We're gonna go harvest front end. Hey, it's not even snowing. I'm gonna need more than this. I need a three quarter, seven eighths, and those big ones, whatever they are. And maybe this, I'll leave it here. I'll be right back. All right, we've got some parts or tools. Do we have the right tools? That is not the right tools. It's a 15 16 and a wobbly. I'll be back. Oh, I didn't get anything for that. I'll have to cut it off. What's your plan of getting that in the shop? The tractor. It's a good plan. Yeah. It's the only one I could come up with.
All right, I think we've got it. Gets out of there. We'll get the tractor and see if we can get it. What do you think? You think that'll that'll hold? Once you tighten it, maybe. Oh, yeah. It's a little loose, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. There we go. Got all our pieces back together on it. We're just gonna set our pattern up now on it, and then uh, we'll be done with this. Or but now are they bottomed out? Yes. That's a long ways. There's not a difference in the housings, is there? I, I have an know. idea. I don't know. If there is my other housings wherever you have it. So thick and thin ring gears might be our problem. So that doesn't turn anymore? No. Let's see here. That's bottomed out on bottomed out on that. On the other end. All right, here's what we got going on here. We had to go scavenge some parts. See this ring gear thickness here? It's way thin. So these housings are different. So we need that ring gear on here. So we've got to go change some parts. So we're going to take those, throw it in here, then it should work. If not, I don't know what. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you can see the difference. Yeah, just enough, huh? Yeah, it's it's a ways. Same Maybe. gears, but different setups. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, it's just the difference yeah, it's just in the a thick gear. So these are the gear. same carriers. They just they have are. to have a thick ring gear. Just a thick ring gear. All right, we'll zip this off and uh, so... swap those. I'll just leave all this stuff together and box it somewhere. Yep. Okay. All right. Now with the old and with the new. Okay, we have all the correct parts and one extra. All right, we can put it in now. Feels more better. I need that other cap and goodies. Thank you. All right, I'll get these all tightened up and then we'll see if we set it up. Hey, that's more better. Yeah. It's close. Cool. It's close. It's just the pattern's decent. Okay. Yeah, you're at 12. That was way off. Yeah, way loose. So I'll give that one a cinch on that side. I'll give it a nice happy in the middle six. That's dang close. Can you tell by the noise? Yeah. I'm gonna go. <clears throat> this is gonna be light use only. So. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm. <laughs> that's why I'm doing what I'm doing, cause I'm a hundred percent sure that kid will test my work. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty dang close. We'll pull this tight. Sent Check him. it. All right, that should be able to get a. It's got to come down some. It's got a little slop. Perfect. Let's see if it spins clear around. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. Do it. Well, the keepers go on it. Yeah. It's not terrible. Yeah, well, that one's in the middle. It'll probably be fine. Put it together and lock that thing cool. down. Rear end is buttoned up. He's gonna clean the cover, put it on, and then I can get this table and get the front end out. Now there's just a whole bit of things left. All right? Yep. Do the front, make the engine run, put drive lines. We're not gonna be able to find a drive line now. We might have to take Hunter's truck. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Just like that. On with the next item. All right, that's good. Okay. Sounds like the boss is here. Come tell us what we're doing wrong on his truck. It's true. You got to feed him full of a good story about the rear end. Tell him it's no good, not going to work. Starting to hate your truck. Why? Well, well, the gears that we had were the wrong ones for the carrier in the back. Oh, sorry, waiting on gears. No, it's done. Oh, it's done. Then the parts guy ordered the wrong gears for the front. Oh, this is a 10 bolt. It was. It's that's not going to be here in a little while. Oh, that's why that front end's in here. <laughs> yep. Explains. Now we're building a, a 44. Which kind of helped you out because now you get a posi in the front instead of an open diff like you were talking about. But it didn't help me out. <laughs> it used up more of my parts. And my time. Well, that's it. Oh. All right, ready? Yeah, you can go up. Now we can put all stuff on table and go build it on in. <laughs> okay, going up. Uh, Ooh, that's just fairly quick. Yeah, I totally. Hopefully all my stuff will just go onto that. Well, this should be the same, same dog. It will in a while. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. Why doesn't that pinion turn? Oh, I see. To pull water. And, uh, oh. Tip her up. We'll drain it out. Okay. We'll figure it out. Okay, we're about to get this thing tore completely down. I just buffed the gasket off. We're cleaning it out. Ben's on the phone with parts store trying to find inner axle fills that we don't have. So this thing's not going back together tonight for sure. But we're hoping first thing tomorrow that we'll have parts and we'll tackle it. Okay, last day I'll put this thing in. Right there. That'll work. We can bolt that thing in and start putting what we can put together tonight. One day you might have a truck land. <laughs> One day. One, one day. day. Do we need to put washers on this one? Yep, that's what I'm doing. Oh. Currently. Quality control, good job. Yep, I'm quality control for today since Hunter's not here. All right, tighten her up. All right, she's in it. Now it's just gotta go back together. Now just all the little parts. We can tonight we can put knuckles on it. We can get the front end set up, get the gears all meshed in there the way they need to be. Yep. Pull the third member back out, put seals in it tomorrow. Should be done. I'm not sure that this is gonna work. So close. Come on. Is it barely? I think so. Oh, yeah. Got it. Alright, we're just getting the knuckles dialed. And I think. That should be it. Should be. All right, that should be tight. We want you as safe as possible. <laughs> we love you. And we know how you drive. Hey, what's going on there, Landon? Trying to have a gas bath right now. <laughs> Trying to wash her off, are you? Yeah. Well, it looks bit. like you did good. I mean. I mean, I got it out. See, there we go. Wandering. No backlash. Zero. Is that a good or bad thing? That's a bad yeah. thing. Um, we need a little bit. Washers bend or something. That just isn't right. No, it's gotta be tight. Yep. And if it was tight, it'd pull that in and give you... Give you more. Give you backlash. backlash. This is what we got going. For some reason, the bearing did not go all the way down on, so. We got to make it now. All right. Just maybe. That's about perfect. Hey, I'm not still tight. 
Perfect. <laughs> Did something right. Slip that in there and see if that has backlash now or if we're changing my changing those. You know how to tell? Which way these Jan 44s go? Uh, what do you mean? They have a thick and a thin side. Oh, thin yeah. Thin side always goes to the carrier. I've only rebuilt a million Jan 44s. One or, one or six? Yep. Seven and a half minutes to change an axle for them. Yeah. Back gotta, in the gotta, back gotta, in the heyday of the Dakota. Nope. Too Not tight. Not going to do it. Yeah. It don't even turn, does it? Huh. Okay. We gotta <laughs> go there. You wanna come up and show us how to do this? <laughs> I could. I probably could. Still tight. That truck's moving a whole lot. Oh yeah. Well that's because we're idiots. Did we do the wrong oh, side? Oh yeah, completely the wrong side. Yeah, that ain't gonna hey, work. Quality control, where you at? Yeah, let's pull this out. Sorry. <laughs> it's just getting later. Yeah, that's too better. loose or is it good? Yeah, it's a little loose, but I mean that's kill it. It's not bad. I mean, it's not horrible. It's, it's probably at like six. Just landage truck. <laughs> it's all just so <laughs> <laughs> He's like, D -d 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 wait, wait a minute. Uh, no, it's good. We get some bearing or some seals. Yeah. We can slap that together. Yes, we can't finish. We got the seals nope. right here to do. Yep. Seals going there. We can't put axles in. We can't put a. We're pretty much shot for the night. Seals. We'll get up. We'll go down on the frost and find axle. Okay. Two transmissions. Okay. For Why some, do we need two transmissions? For some upcoming projects. There's some projects on the list. Yeah. Oh. And then a uh, driveline piece, so. Driveline, yes. All right. Okay, that'll do. So we're on our way to the high school. Fab Rats <coughs> is sponsoring halftime with yep. these Traxxas hot rods. It's gonna be awesome. Jace is playing tonight. It's a boys game tonight, so. Right. Just getting ready to race some cars. We got some alumni guys doing it and some younger high school kids doing it, so it should be fun. They ain't winning. Stay on the outside of the cones. Okay? The orange circle. Okay. Basically on the outside of them. Each one of you will get a lap. Okay. The fastest ones will win the money. So, <laughs> they're pretty fast. You uh, guys ever drove a Traxxas no. car? No. Are they good? <laughs> they're gonna stay up fast. Driver, start your engines. Play the game.
feeling like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now we Okay, we finally got us some seals, so we're just gonna install them. I think you've probably seen us do this before, but gotta have seals, and new ones at that.